Greetings, fellow wedding attendees. Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Cult of the Lamb, episode 12, Brother-in-Law, Husband. There's definitely situations where you get so, like, um, you get so busy, like, managing your, your home that you just don't go on crusades. And I would like to try to, like, make a certain amount of progress in the game before the end of the stream satisfying amount of progress. So the reason I opened up the Silk Cradle is um, Silk Cradle is a zone that can give you a lot of uh, a lot of bone. And I need bone, so we'll do that. Oh, and I'm getting a hammer for the first time. Joy. And this is just gonna say, Shamara wants to kill me. Cool, thanks for the warning. And the unique resource, kind of like how crystals were in the last zone, is spider webs here. And I'm being threatened. He waits by the rocks of the darkened sea and foot of the long sudden drop. Within the maw of the pointed teeth, beasts, the sh uh, stutter of the heart then stopped. He was the fifth, the fifth bishop of the old faith, our brother, the one who waits. Back then, he was known by the name Narender. But as millennia wore on, he grew discontent with his role. He began to question. He was gluttonous in his ambition. And in my imprudence, I loved him. For it, I lost my mind. For it, he lost his freedom. Can you fathom such betrayal, Lamb, of your own turned against you? Would you like to find out? He was the fifth, the fifth bishop of the old faith, her brother, the one who waits. Back then, he was known by the name Narrator. Yeah, you really lost your mind, man. Sea Turtle is gonna try to kill me. So, because I just started this uh, crusade, go ahead, Sea Turtle. I'm not gonna kill you. I don't really have anything to lose. I mean, I'm immortal after all, so... Uh, this is the second time I will have lost on a crusade, and it's obviously voluntarily. Can I Omnipresence back? In that, so Omnipresence you have to channel, and because you have to channel it, it's pretty impossible to Omnipresence while you're being attacked, because they'll just keep canceling your channeled ability. Now, the only problem with that is I've lost faith because they think I'm weak because I chose not to kill uh, Sea Turtle. So it would be good to for them to gain some faith. So let's see if I can't gain faith uh, in other ways. Maybe Bob's quest. Oh man, what a bad time for you to ask me to do the brainwashing ritual. I will accept the quest, but probably not end up doing it. What about you, Escandia? Uh, you want to marry me too? I'm not sure I want to marry, uh, siblings. Uh, guys, help me out. <laughs> uh, should I accept marrying both a brother and sister? Or I actually don't even know Iskandia's gender. <laughs> You're gonna say accept? All right. I don't have bones for that yet. Oh my god. They'll have problems. Oh, I don't want to 
talk to you. So just like running around inspiring people, uh, I'm no longer, you know, got to bottom out in faith. That's why I keep saying like faith is really just very easy to manage. Because there's just so many different ways to raise it. Uh... Well, it's about to be nighttime, so I am not going to run either of those quests. Should I actually do those follower quests? So the brainwash one would have pretty negative consequences given that everyone would get sick. And the marrying one might make Pomer jealous. But, like, that's kind of Pomer's problem. What do I want? Kitchen? Or maybe better Lumberyard and better Stone Mine. They last a bit longer and, uh, and they harvest a bit quicker, I think. Pretty solid choices. Not doing one, but the other. Uh, yeah, I'll include those options. How's that sound? There you go. A full set of potentials. Okay, I have, like, nothing to feed anyone. So I am going to spend a minute to fish, too. Uh, there's literally no fish here. Why not? That's weird. There's like a fish. And they're nowhere near my reel. Hello. I thought I was going to fish, but like it... I've never seen just no fish at all. So fine, I'll just collect some faith. Oh, uh, you want my help again. You want crystals for your, uh, your lighthouse. And I have 22 out of 25. All right, let's close all of these track quests though. There's so many. There's also Clownex Shoe. I had a side quest for that as well. I think I just lost someone due to old age. A follower form from the water. Well, that's not fishy. You guys want me to do the marriage, pretty clearly. Alright, time for a sermon. I skipped some sermons. Gotta catch up with that. Hey, bud. Wow. It's like just morning time and this thing already filled up. Still gonna work on the farm first. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. So here is the first farming station. And I will, uh, I'll start to set up the farm over here. I'm gonna end up moving like all the farming stuff. Trying to build more of a meta farm. 
that's what you all want. Donation had two gold bars. That's like 20 coin. Plus the, the refinery time, which is not insignificant either. Uh, unfortunately, the only things I have to feed people are like poop. So farming them bones are going to be really important really fast. New doctrine? Actually, not all these options are available. Hold on, let me revise this list. Once the old usher in. Oh my god, they take forever. So we can no longer do sustenance uh, because we are maxed on that. So afterlife, work and worship, law and order, or possessions. It's close. Yeah. Afterlife. Which one? Left or right? So left is return to earth. It unlocks the natural burial. So when people die, you can uh, fertilize them. Or grieve the fallen, which unlocks a grave building, which gains faith uh, when followers grieve at the grave. Uh, it's also worth noting that either one of these, we can still resurrect them. So I can natural burial and then resurrect anyway, or bury them in a grave and resurrect them anyway. This does not stop you from resurrection, as far as I know. It's a very close poll, uh, but in like 10 seconds, I'm gonna call it. Looks like return to earth. Or fertilization wins by a wee hair. Like fungal pod burials. All right, you guys did want the marriage ritual, but I still don't have the bone for that. I will run all the four though. And as soon as this is done, I'm gonna be farming the bone and upgrading that farming station. So the new ones is Godly Weapons, uh, the Eyes of the Lost Relics, but I'm actually just going to do Might of the Devout 5 for stronger starting weapons. I'll get Godly once uh, I'm done with all of the Might benefits. I like to start with as high level weapons as possible, just to help clear the Crusades, because everything else is kind of chance. And I gained 40 coin from that sermon. And you're deciding my fate. Oh boy. So now I'm gonna edit the buildings. And the concept I had for the farming stations is to have them overlap a little, like this. the outhouse here maybe with the seed bank and it's gonna take me a minute to like move all the crops but so that they overlap a bit so that the crops in the middle uh, are tended to faster by both and hopefully eventually get four farming stations to form like a farming queue so that there's a big overlap zone between all four of them. And that's gonna easily feed 20 plus. And once we have, so I've been very resistant 
in adding um, additional people because I haven't wanted to, uh, it, you know, it's, it's actually becomes a little bit challenging to feed them all. But if I got a lot more farming stations, that would be far less of an issue. I think these hay piles are just ugly. I'm gonna remove them. So there's not gonna be perfect symmetry until I get more farming stations, and then I'll have it be like four fold symmetry. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to add equal amounts of seeds per farming station, or equal amounts of plots rather, per farming station that is uh, in their separate zone. Do followers farm fast enough? Yes. If you have enough farming stations, they will farm fast enough that I won't have to touch it. So that I don't, you know, have to intervene. You just need to have a lot more uh, farming stations per plot. So don't max out the amount of uh, farm plots around each farming station, because they won't be able to handle the influx. Then I'll move the kitchen over there as well. Let's move the uh, seed silo closer too, so that the farmers don't have to run to it. For now, I'll have it be very, very close. And then once we add more plots, I can spread it out. I don't have enough grass to even add more plots. <laughs> so I have to farm bone and grass. Bye bye. I old age. So there's a chance to um, to loot them, which I'm not gonna do. If you want to like regain their talisman or whatever necklace you gave them. Given that I'm trying to keep everyone alive, it's really challenging to do that. What uh, necklaces do I currently have? None. Okay, good. If I had skull necklaces, I, I'd kick myself. So here's a pretty good indicator. Every single plot is watered, fertilized, and I, yeah. So they're keeping up with that a bit better. So that checks that off the list. So now I want to farm bones for marriage ritual. Because I don't, that, that was a timed follow request and I'm probably running out of time on it. Also, wee bit worried about the food situation. I can cook a few meals. But obviously I'm gonna need to source more food more quickly. At a population of 19, it's a lot more mouths to feed. Oops. Got in the middle of an argument between my husband and turtle. Great <laughs> healing bay. I, I kind of regret that. I should have done the outhouse. All right, now that they're sleeping, let's go farm some bones and grass. Zealous sword and my favorite blessing, divine guardian. 
There's a chance of me going no hit here. So I'll I'll actually try it. I'm gonna go red for the extra danger focus. Although trying to go no hit in this zone is rather hard because of how crazy things can become. I don't kill them. Jerk. You can see there's a lot more bones in this uh, in this region than a lot of the others. And if I want upgraded um, mines, I'm gonna want silk, spider silk as well. It's a uh, ingredient for the upgraded mines. Oh, lost another gold age. I'm falling behind my resurrections. Negate damage when attacked, that works. And an offer. Would a fee solve the food problem? Yeah, I didn't I don't have bones for that though. Everything basically costs bones. It's why I've said a few times in the stream, bones are a resource. Ah! Oh, I got hit because I hit right click to use my um, curse and it like didn't trigger in time. Oh well. At least I do have the har harvest bonus uh, card, which is going to help harvest stuff. And there's still a chance to um, clear the last boss room with no hit. Which sucks, because the, the relic I just got gives me a new curse at a higher level. But I'm, I'm going to not use the relic, because the invincibility helps with far uh, boss farming. Oh, you jerk. There's another um, new mob type where they're connected to one another. And they form like a line that hurts you if you get between them. My card. My card. So, food, food. Uh, food in this region would be beets, which are kind of cool. Uh, because if you get pumpkins, beets, and cauliflower from the three zones after de um, Deadwood, it unlocks a really nice recipe to make. So, I'll, I'll go for the beets. So, I can start farming great food. It's not the best meal possible, but it's the second best meal possible. Uh, the best meal requires meat and veggies, which you know maybe we'll uh, we'll we'll work towards. For that, I probably need a lot more um, a lot more donation boxes. So this is a a healing area. So Ratu, not Ratau, who will heal heal you on your crusade. And there's a card to buy, which I gain an extra two hearts. I actually don't want that. I just want to break the boxes. Oh man, that temporary heart is outside my what I can reach. <laughs> oh well, whatever. And 34 beats is not a bad haul, but that's because I have the double harvest card. It would have been half that otherwise. Not a great zone for grass, though, and I need more grass to put more farm plots down, but whatever. Of course, it gives me curses and not weapons. 
So I'm skipping this. Because my best chance at having a no hit for the boss is to keep my current invulnerability curse and use it against the boss. I almost have enough bones to run a resurrection though, but uh, the timer on the marriage is probably running out. No, it's about half done. I have a little bit more time. You can see it up, up above the uh, priorities. Oh, nice! I found a corpse room now. That'll help. Because I have the farming card, it's definitely worth going back and getting everything possible. These uh, blue eggs, you have a certain amount of time to... Oh, I got hit. A certain amount of time to kill them before they hatch. And the damage that you do before they hatch, if you don't fully destroy them, will be relayed over to the, uh, to the spiders that come out of them. Good card. Ah, attack rate. I would have picked um, better yield from chests, but there aren't too many chests between me and the final boss fight. There's only like maybe five or so. It's just, unless I do a continue. The problem with doing continues now is that... Um, oh, actually, it's, here's the boss. The problem with doing continues now is... Uh, is I don't have a kitchen. So it's hard to do it without people, like, starving. You can see why this is my favorite blessing. That was a no-hit. Got it. So much spider silk here in the boss room. Bone. Swing bad, swing violently. Yeah, man. Uh, give me beet seeds. And now we have a quarter of that done. So we have a quarter of Anchor Deep and a quarter of, uh... Oops. The Silk Cradle. Under 40 bone from one run. It's really not bad. Might be enough for a marriage and a resurrection, but probably not. And given that the marriage is time sensitive and the resurrection isn't. Oh man! Everything broke down. Oh Jesus. This is what happens when you're away. Everything breaks. I suppose what I should have done, actually, is just to upgrade it to its um, second tier form instead of rebuild it. Oh well. Uh, lesson hopefully learned for next time. Oops. This plot is outside the... Uh, 
those plots uh, need to be moved. Because they're outside of the scarecrow. There's the new guy. And pull. What do you want me to do? Build improvements, complete a quest, uh, go on a crusade, increase the cultist's level and faith, or farm for resources that I need. And I've been talking about the kitchen, but let's... Oh, actually, we did unlock the natural burial, which... Uh, I could also build one of those, but um, yeah, let's go with the kitchen, finally. I'm not going to build one, I'm just going to unlock it with the inspiration... But it allows followers to cook, which allows for longer crusades. Without that, long crusades can starve your people pretty good. Definitely not keeping up with all the resurrections. So you are naturally obedient. We gain faith when I recruit you. You're faithless, though. And you gain faith when you fall ill. Good luck in the raffle. Plug and broke? Oh, that sucks. Because they know you're a traitor. Hey, Bathorn, congrats. Another person died? Oh, no, I don't actually know why I just got hit with a bunch of penalties. This would be a pretty good time to inspire. Everyone's standing around. Not enough beds? Ah, oh, God. Because one broke down. So there's the tier two upgrades for the collection. Uh, so one costs crystals, and the other costs silk. I have uh, the the materials for the stone mine, but I'm gonna hold off on that unless you guys vote for me to build. So let's go ahead and run the. Doctrines and sermon and marriage ritual. So I'm getting married to my husband's sibling. Uh, yeah. Don't judge me too much. You voted for it. I can do a resurrection, so I might as well uh, to try to keep everyone alive. Anytime that's off cooldown and I can afford it, I should run it. But we're we have two elders right now, so we're gonna lose one pretty soon. Uh, which means I'm going to send one. Because that is the friendly way to send them off. Because I... We have a big penalty if we let them die. So... Uh, I'm just going to pick one. Whoa! 
so many people leveled up. Oh, dang. So, we no longer can do afterlife. That is maxed as well. So pick between work and worship, law and order, or possessions. There's only three more doctrines to enact. Work or worship it is. So, which one, left or right? Left is glory through toil. They work uh, throughout three nights without sleep. So it costs faith and they don't sleep and they keep working. Or holy day ritual where they get a day off and they regain an immense amount of, of faith. Which do you want? Okay, glory through toil is winning by a long landslide. So, it is enacted. And somehow, I'm still invisible. What the heck? There we go. Or Yoda's invisible. Last but not least, the servant. So you guys voted for me to complete a quest, so I'm going to have you vote on which quest to complete. In a second here. But here is the top tier weapons. High level weapons for the start of the crusade. Wonderful. My new, I don't know your gender, husband, wife, something. <laughs> Happiest day of your life. You know, you don't have like a necklace. I don't have gifts to give though. Too bad. Spouse, yeah. That's a better term. I don't need to know gender. Uh, I'm going to start planting the beet myself. So, the best meals in the game available require way more beet than they do uh, cloud flour and pumpkin. So, if you want to be cooking up the awesome stuff, you need to plant beets like crazy. So, I think I probably have access to those recipes now. Oh, no, I don't. But here is the Magnificent Mixed Meal. So this is a fine meal from the very best ingredients. This is the best meal of the game, by the way. Um, so it's a 100% chance to increase follower loyalty and a 100% chance to stop a follower for, from dissenting. It costs meat, tuna, and beets. So someone lucky is gonna get it and then the other people are gonna get like berries and grass. Oh, what sucks is the person that is currently leveling up is eating the beet or the magnificent meal. No, no, never mind. I was wrong. Because obviously they can't benefit from it. Stand still, glitch. Jesus. Let's kiss the other spouse so they don't get jealous. All right, I could do that. Where is. Where is he? Oops. I just interrupted my spouse. Where? Oh, there you are. Smoochy time! Now get back to work. <laughs> you better be bringing home bacon for Uncle or your daddy cult leader 
<laughs> or whatever I am, I don't know. I'm gonna stop talking now, I'm digging myself a bigger grave. So it is also important that if anyone levels up their loyalty level, to level them up, because they're not gonna gain more loyalty without you triggering their level. Meaning that like any rituals or inspirations are pointless. Bigger fire. Oh, and they just donated tuna and meat. So that that's that's one of the other big reasons to have to, the offering shrines is they just donated the rest uh, the ingredients to make more magnificent meals, which are incredibly good. And it's really annoying to source meat and tuna uh, without offering boxes, which is another reason why those offering shrines are like incredible. Because Lord Gander just leveled up eating that food. I mean, that's that's how awesome it is. Uh, what do you guys vote on? You guys voted on voting, completing a quest, right? Man, I've been yammering. I forgot about that. So what quest to complete? Fishing? Um, oh, I can return to Sozo. Uh, knuckle bones? That's an easy one. Or... Lighthouse. And while you vote on that, I'm gonna go to Sozo and finish his brainwash quest. You may have noticed that with the two farming stations side by side, these crops are way more tended to than they were before. Before, they were constantly needing um, to be fertilized. Well, they still need to be fertilized because they don't have a fertilizer silo. But they constantly needed to be like watered or harvested. And now they're just like pretty perpetually taken care of, I'd like to think. Like more or less. So it's... We got that covered a bit better. I'm still struggling to provide enough food for the, uh, the cult, but perhaps you guys will vote on me adding more farm plots sometime soon. Alternatively, I can just let everyone starve and then as they're about to starve, use bones to put on a feast. That's a valid strategy too. There you go, poopy. I wonder where that was. Thank you for tuning in to Call to the Lamb, which originally streamed live on Twitch as a marathon July 15th. If you have any questions for me, please let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord. A link can be found in the description of this video or at rodamont.com as well. Thank you so very much for watching and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and everybody that turned out to the streaming marathon. Hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow cultists.